right, so I decided to buy a mini split. I have a shop here and I have my garage here. The mini split is going to go inside that wall here and the other one's going to go inside the wall here. I didn't want to have that line set coming out, going around all the way over here, and I didn't want it coming out over here. I uh, thought it would look ugly. So I decided to do it in the cavity of the walls. So here's the first mini split. This is in the shop. And here's the line set going up into the attic. Here's the line set up in the attic going down into the garage. You can see the line set coming from the attic. Down and outside. You can also the uh, power wire. The signal wire and the power is also going outside. One thing I did when I did this was with the half inch line set, um, I took off the insulation, drilled the holes, fed it through. If you're going to do anything like this, get yourself a copper uh, pipe bender set. I got this one on Amazon. I can't remember what it paid, maybe 100, 150 or something like that. I took off all this crap. I just cut it right off. Um, you can always just put the insulation back on the pipe afterwards. That's what the uh, tape is. And here's the line set coming out of the wall. And that's the B line set. Also, the power cord's coming out of here, hooking in. Oh, by the way, if you if you get one of these pre pre done um, power cords, and one has an elbow and the other has a straight fitting, the elbow is not going to work here because of the way this thing fits on there. Because it slides down like that. If you have an elbow, it won't fit. So you got to get straight fittings. So what I do is I got straight fittings on these. On this one, I just did the elbow out of the box for the the main power disconnect. All right. So I have a 27 BTU, 27K unit. Uh, this unit is 18K. The one in the other garage is 12K. So for this unit, I did it a little differently. These walls um, are not insulated. The attic is not insulated. I would not even try this if everything's insulated because it'll be impossible, especially if you have sheetrock up, to get it down these cavities. So for this one, um, oh, and by the way, I bought... This from Lowe's, I get a 10% discount on Lowe's Military. Uh, Home Depot has a discount, but they're a little more strict on what type of military you are. Uh, you have to be a disabled vet or something like that. Um, so this one I got from Lowe's, and it's a 27K unit with a 12 and a 18 unit, uh, 18K uh, indoor units. And they both came... They came with two 25-foot uh, line sets. If you shop at Home Depot, you and you and all the prices are the same, I would shop at Home Depot because they will allow you to buy a unit with the same 18 and 12 indoor units, 27 BTU outdoor unit, and they will let you choose your line sets. So Lowe's, it's either two 16s or two 25s. At Home Depot, you can get a 16 and a 75. So uh, that's why I would go with Home Depot. Uh, but it's a lot cheaper to go with Lowe's, so I settled for the 25-foot um, lines, which was perfect for the, um, the shop coming out to the unit. It was a perfect length. I didn't have to do anything with the lines except bend them through the holes. So this one here has got a 25-foot line set, and so what I did was... I just put it in this cavity and I just went back and forth and I split them apart because these are usually um, together. So I split them apart. Um, I used my copper pipe bender and went down the wall cavity and went out. Now, if I had to do it over again, I'd have them go out the same hole. I thought 
in my mind I was thinking, oh, I can make smaller holes and it won't look so bad um, if I just do them individually through the holes. But, you know, uh, I think actually it would look better with a little bit of a bigger hole instead of multiple holes. The other thing I did was I put extra hooks up top. So basically that is sitting on the extra hooks. It's like moved up so that I can work on the line set. And I made sure the line set came out of the wall. So if any issues with the connection or whatever, I've got access to it. So the only thing in the wall is just the line set, no connections. Um, then I also had the power cord come behind it and the water come out there. So that's how I did that. Oh, and also, um, I just have to lift it up and put on the, the lower clips and clip it in and you won't see any of that. So, one more issue with the power cord. So the power cord, in the instructions it says you need to use conduit. So if you send it through the wall in the back, you're supposed to have conduit connecting it all the way to the power of the unit outside. They really gloss over that in all the instructional videos you see on YouTube, but you can see that there's, there has to be a conduit to a box and then out to the unit. So um, my idea for putting it in the wall also is to avoid having to use the conduit because I read somewhere, I don't know where, maybe you electrician types will know, but apparently they changed the um, requirements for electrical somewhere in 2017, latest update of the National Electrical Code saying that a one family house can use the power cord supplied with the mini split unit to, um, you know, you can run it in the walls. And here's what it looks like outside. The two lines coming out and then the power is coming here. So the question is, was it worth it? So I haven't tied everything up yet. It's gonna look a lot neater and wrapped and everything like that. I just finished the installation. But does that look better than if I had two big old things coming out of the wall over here and then another one coming out here and going across here and or wrapping up in a big coil or whatever. I like this setup, um, but I gotta be honest, it was a pain in the ass to do. It was really difficult. Uh, it took 10 times longer, but ultimately I got it in the wall and I got less hoses and coils and electrical stuff out here. So up to you whether you want to do it that way.